Are you currently experiencing resistance in your life? Yes, resistance. You know, that thing you seem to feel every time you go after that dream or sit down to read that book or plan out your goals. I don't know, whatever it is. It just seems to be this thing, kind of like this, that it just seems to like just keep you from where you are to the purpose and the things that you're trying to do with your life. Well, if that's you, I want to share with you today what resistance really is, where it comes from, and how you can overcome resistance in your life. So let's talk about resistance. In one of my favorite books called The War of Art, author Stephen Pressfield describes resistance as the most toxic force on the planet. Now, you may be saying to yourself, that's an extreme definition. But let me tell you, anything that holds you back from the purpose and success that your life was meant for is toxic. Now, you may be wondering, what causes this you know, toxic resistance that I often experience in my life? Well, I'll tell you, the answer is simple. The number one cause of the resistance that you and I encounter in our lives is fear. <laughs> resistance on its own has absolutely no power. Every ounce of power that it receives comes from us. And we fuel it with our fear of it. And you'll notice usually resistance takes place within the confines of starting and finishing, right? That's why for a lot of us, it, it's such a struggle to get started on that plan, get started on that dream, get started on going after, you know, that growth opportunity. Because every time we think about it or make an effort to get started, there always seems to be this resistance, right? And for some of you, you probably haven't been able to understand or really verbalize what, what you experience. But I'm telling you, what you experience is resistance. And for others, that you might experience resistance when it comes to finishing where maybe you hit the ground running and you were on fire and now all of a sudden a few months in you're starting to feel some of that that drive that passion taper off that's resistance and here's the thing here's the trickiest thing about resistance it comes in many different forms i want you to take note of some of the various ways resistance might be invading its way into your life for example procrastination procrastination is nothing more than resistance in the form of habit that's why it's also known as the tomorrow disease, because we get into a habit of putting things off for tomorrow and the next day and the next day. But here's something I want you to think about. That form of resistance could not only just be you putting things off, but you could be putting you off, putting the best you off, putting that purpose, that thing that you were created for off. And how dangerous would that be? And how toxic would that be if that habit that you're developing of procrastination is actually the resistance that will stop you from living the fulfilled life you were created to live? Next up, the fan favorite, drama. I hate the drama, you hate the drama, but for some reason, drama still sells. And the reason why is because drama creates the resistance that affects our focus. And what happens is we become surrounded with all the chaos and the noise and we can't focus on our future. We can't focus on our, our purpose and the things we were created to do. Why? Because our, our focus is zapped with that resistance that comes in the form of drama. Understand, high drama creates high resistance. Resistance can reveal itself in the form of unhappiness. Those are the moments where you find yourself dissatisfied with everything around you. And what that leads to is depression and loneliness and low thoughts. That's resistance. It can also reveal itself in the form of criticism, where either you're the critic or the one being criticized. Both create resistance. Last but certainly not least is the, probably the most dangerous form of resistance, which is rationalization, or as I like to call it, excuses. You see, this form prevents us from feeling the disappointment that comes with not going after the success and the purpose that our life was created for. Once we get rationalization fixed in our minds, we begin to make up reasons why we shouldn't go after that dream, why we shouldn't start that business, why we shouldn't grow in this or that area. And rationalization has a major effect on our lives and our purpose. And it creates massive amounts of resistance. So by now you might be asking yourself, how exactly are you supposed to overcome all of these forms of resistance within your life? 
The short answer is that there are several ways that you can overcome resistance in your life. But I wanna share with you just five ways that I think will really help you push back the resistance that you might be encountering in your life. Number one is patience. A lot of us, we hate that word. Why? Because patience equals delayed gratification. And not many of us like delayed gratification because delayed gratification means that pain may come before results. And that's not always fun. I can remember when I graduated from college, it was one of the, the worst experiences because it seemed like in that moment, nothing was going right. I mean, absolutely nothing. Everything from my car being stolen to, to my, me losing the job that I currently had, they decided to shut down the whole program and it just seemed like hit after hit after hit. It was more problems than results from the resistance I was feeling in my life. But here's what I did. I maintained patience. And sometimes it's hard to maintain patience because patience doesn't always come with gratified vision. And for us as human beings, a lot of times we want that gratified vision because then we feel like all the effort and the work that we're putting in is actually moving towards something. But here's how you avoid the resistance that comes with the frustration and the, the feelings of wanting to quit whenever you, you're hit with those problems that come before the results. You do that by remaining Patience. Number two is good old drama removal. Eliminate the chaos. If your life is filled with drama, then chances are you are the most vulnerable to resistance. Think about a moment in your life where maybe you experienced multiple dramatic or chaotic events, or maybe you were surrounded by drama. How did that impact your pursuit of your purpose? How, how did that affect your passion and your outlook on life? Chances are it had a major effect on those things. And if we're honest, it probably was the one thing that caused you to quit, to give in. You see, that's the impact that chaos has on us. And if we don't eliminate it, then we invite resistance into our life. And for you, that chaos may be in various forms. It might be in the form of relationships. It might be in the form of unforgiveness. It might be in the form of, of hurt or pain. It might be in the form of television from all the chaos you know you let into your system that you focus on day in and day out. Whatever it is, eliminate it. Find the, the chaotic drama in your life and eliminate it and you will eliminate the resistance. Number three, here's a big word, demystification. This simply means to rid of mystery, obscurity, or, or add clarity to a situation. Demystify. And so how does that look in your life? Well, if we're honest, many of us, we've probably gotten into a place in our lives or maybe you're there right now where things seem a little cloudy and you're not sure if you're going in the right direction or you're, you're involved in the right thing or, or you're you know, pursuing what you were created for. And, and resistance creeps in and it'll start to lie to you and tell you you're not good enough or you're not doing it right or you're just a failure. And here's how we push back on that resistance with demystification. You demystify it when you take your dreams, your passions, the things you were created for, and you translate those things into tangible work and techniques that you can master. So the question is, what's that technique in your life? What's that, well, how can you translate your dreams, passion, purpose into work that you can master, right? What does that look like? And when you discover that and you begin to master that, clarity begins to come forth. And you begin to understand, hey, here's what I'm working towards. The cloudiness and the mystery starts to fall off of your life and the resistance you begin to push back on. Number four, we push back on resistance by not personalizing criticism. Here's something I really want you to understand. The critic is not the enemy. The enemy is found in your response to the critic. Here's something I can guarantee you, whether you're a man, woman, rich, poor, ugly, or pretty, Someone is always going to criticize you. And how we avoid falling into that resistance is we never take that personally. We understand that the critic is not the enemy. And in fact, sometimes the critic might be correct in their criticism, but that's not, that doesn't matter. We don't give into that resistance because we know the, the real critic is found in our response. The real enemy is found in our response to that critic. And when we maintain our response, and we stay focused on our future and what we were created for, then we will push back that resistance of criticism in our lives. All right, number five, and this one is my absolute favorite, it's faith. 
If you're looking to push back the resistance in your life, then let me tell you something. It's gonna take some faith. I don't know what you believe, but here's what I do know. You believe in something. And what you believe in will serve as the foundation in your life when you're met with resistance. Studies have shown that the two questions human beings ask the most is who am I and what am I here for? Those are faith questions. And the reason why we ask those questions is because without faith, we open up our lives to a, an amount of resistance that if we're not careful, will convince us that we're not here with any reason, any purpose, or, or any significance. And that's why it's important for you to have faith, because that faith will help you to defeat resistance. For me, the faith that I have is my faith in Jesus Christ. That's what has helped me and sustained me through the highest moments of resistance in my life. It's what replenishes me. It's what gives me a sense of hope and, and purpose and passion for what I do, but that's me. The question for you is, what's your faith rooted in and how is that helping you to overcome and combat the resistance in your life? Just something to think about. So here's the bottom line. Resistance can be a tough, toxic force in our lives, but you have five pointers that you can focus on to help you overcome that resistance that you may be experiencing. And if you focus on those five points and you incorporate them into your lives, you will begin to push back the resistance that you may be encountering. And when you push that back, you'll be free to pursue the success that is your destiny.